everyone. Welcome to this week's Mindset Minutes. So have you ever found yourself walking down the street and talking to yourself or maybe you're driving in your car and you're like going on and then you look over and somebody's watching you? <laughs> Luckily, I live in New York City, so there are people who are way more crazy than I am out there, so it's not so bad. But as it turns out, talking to yourself might not be such a bad thing. It depends on what you're saying. Obviously, negative self-talk is not going to be very helpful. And often when we're talking to ourselves, we might be rehashing something that's negative or an argument or something um, a little more emotionally charged. But if you direct that self-talk and you talk to yourself about what it is that you're wanting yourself to do, it can actually be an incredibly effective method to direct your focus and your attention and actually get yourself to do things more efficiently and effectively. Uh, there's been, there was some studies done of basketball players and when they spoke to themselves and when they would mutter things outside like jump higher or focus or I can do it or do that, that you know, or uh, um, you've got this, they actually played better than the people who didn't speak out loud to themselves. Uh, and they say that that's a bit of, uh, of, it activates something called selective attention. And it's essentially directing your brain to focus on what it is that you want it to do. You're telling it what to do. And uh, it works also in terms of finding things better. If uh, there was a study done at the University of Wisconsin in Madison, and they had all these photographs, and on these photographs there were certain things, and when somebody would say out loud, I want to find the photograph with the trumpet, I don't know what the picture was, but they were able to find it faster than the person who didn't articulate it out loud. They both were looking for the picture with the trumpet on it, but the person who said, I want to find the picture with the trumpet, they found it faster. So once again, redirecting your brain to focus have that selective attention, we're so easily distracted by everything else, but by verbalizing it, it engages not only your mind, but also sort of your body in the effort to achieve something. So it can be very effective in helping you to achieve your own goals. And one of the things that they said works a little bit better in studies is to use second or third person. So it's one thing like, I can do it, I can do it. That's great too, but also to be like, use your name. So in my case, you know, come on, Sonia, you got this. Come on, Sonia, go do this, blank, 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 blank. Um, but using either a second or third person can really get you to do it. And it's funny, the other day I was in a boxing class and uh, my teacher was really, really being tough that day. And I was like, come on, Sonia, ah, you got this, you know? And sure enough, it definitely uh, inspired. I was able to push myself just that little bit further. And in modus size, we use this technique a lot when we're exercising either with affirmations or other things that you're wanting in goals to say it out loud. And so it is a way of redirecting your attention so that you can achieve your goals. So the next time you're walking down the street or driving in your car or staring in a mirror and talking to yourself, make sure those words are intentional about what it is that you're either wanting to find or wanting to achieve. And play around with that, that third person, second or third person directive of you've got this or even using your name. So with that, go off, speak to yourself, positively <laughs> and shine.